Hi, it's Wolf from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is the final piece in the Foam Armor uh, Knight set. So we use craft foam to make the creases, or the uh, thighs, the upper leg, and we attach them to the greaves. See? Uh, people have been asking for this project, and I finally uh, got it and finished off the set. I could do more. There's some things like the go get and stuff I could do. Let me know if you want me to do that. Thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If not, what do you do? You hit that button. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, rattle boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing you do is you print up the template. The link is in the description of this video down below. And cut out the pieces. There are six pieces. And put them together like this. That makes up the quiz. And these are both of them. You just, we're going to flip it around later to make um, the left and the right. Tape those pieces together. Now place this on poster board. Because you want something, you don't want to use just paper, it's not strong enough. You want to use poster board, it's a little bit stronger. Place it on the poster board and trace it. And you do this twice. Trace two of them. And then cut those pieces out. Now fold it like this, or curve it like this, and then try it on your leg to see if it fits. You can adjust it at this point um, to, to fit it comfortably on your leg with a little bit of space. I made these pretty big, so you probably, chances are you'll have to cut them down a little bit. But see you've got one and two of them, flip one of them over. Now you've got a left and a right. And leave them flipped like this, one, 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 one the other and then apply foam board to them and spray adhesive works the best for this now that isn't foam board that black there that's just a piece of poster board so you can see what I'm working on but uh, apply a nice even coat of spray adhesive and then you stick your craft foam to it and you might want to test different spray adhesives can work funny on the craft foam so you might want to do a little bit of a test first on a small piece of craft foam but stick it down firmly and um, get the whole thing covered. I cut a little piece here because I needed a small piece for that edge and then I attach that. So the whole thing is covered. And then press it all nice and smooth with your hands. Now trim it. And that's a pretty easy project, the quiz, the quizzes. Um, remember, I have all the knight's armor, all of it. The helmet, the chest piece, the gauntlets, a very popular project. Um, the, uh, the van braces are very popular. I have a playlist you can check out with all of cr the knight's craft foam armor. So now take that and we're going to put strips of Velcro on it so it holds in place. See it? There's hooks and there's loops. So cut yourself your strips and then place either the hooks or the loops on one end like this. And then we're going to put the other, the, in this case the um, loops, on the outside of the craft foam. And we don't want to glue it down to the 
foam itself because it might come undone. So what to do is measure it and cut away the foam. So now it'll attach to the poster board, it'll be much stronger. There we go. Do the same thing on uh, both of your, both of them, your left and your right. Now give it a try and try it on again to see if it fits. And it should, you've already measured it once, it should fit fine. Next we'll add a little bit of detail and I'm using network cable here to add this nice beading around the top edge of the Chris, the top edge. You don't want to put it around the bottom edge because it may interfere with the action of your knee and with the, um, with the shin piece, the greave. So you just put a bead of um, hot glue and then apply the cable like this all the way around. Of course, leaving it where the Velcro is so you can open and close it. You can put it on and take it off. And also, if you have any creases, um, excuse me, sections where they're assembled, you could put a um, piece of network cable on that too. But you can use other things too, like uh, thick pieces of string or something for a little bit of decoration. You don't have someone with this. You could put a strip of um, craft foam, cut a strip of craft foam about a quarter inch and apply that around the top edge or on any seams. It looks good. That's kind of what we did with uh, many of the other parts, including the, especially the van braces. So there we go. It's done. Now we're going to paint it. Um, put a nice coat of black paint on it first. And once that dries, go ahead and paint it silver. I'm using a Rust-Oleum silver paint. I kind of like metallic finish. And this is how you're going to spray paint it. You do it like this. Do nice even strips. So now the only thing remaining is um, attaching it to the greave. So let me show you how to do that. See how this has got tabs on it. See those tabs is like, a, a, like that. And those tabs are what's going to be the pivot point. By tab I mean that like rounded area. That See it? There's where you're going to put a hole in it and you're going to attach them there. So put a hole in the greave, match it up and put a hole in the quiz, or the thigh piece. Make sure that when you do this that it still can uh, move like that, like your knee would move. You can even try these on and make sure. And I'm using something called a uh, brass paper fastener, two of them brass paper fasteners, which I love. These work really good for armor, craft foam armor. Because they hold pretty tight. Uh, they're easy to use. Uh, they're really cheap. And they, and they look good. You put it through and then you fold over the flaps, or the tines, or the tongs, or whatever you would call them. Just like that. And it'll still rotate nicely. Flip it over and do the other side, and you are done. And that is it. We have completed the knight's armor. Like I said, there are some other pieces that we could possibly do, like um, the hips, the gorget around the neck. But um, So leave a suggestion. Let me know if there's more um, craft foam armor you'd like me to do. Um, I do take suggestions. But um, look through the playlist first to make sure I haven't done it already. I've done, I, I also have, you know, of course, to go with this, shields, the sword, the Sword Scabbard, which is a very popular project. Looks good.
Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.